City Thunder are the 2024 Men's Basketball League champions after they beat KPA 3-0 in the five-game final series to bring to an end the three-year dominance of Kenya Ports Authority, who had won the title three years in a row. KPA have been the force in local basketball league thanks to their solidity in their management and a well-oiled machine. However, credit goes to Thunder, who through Twente Foundation built a strong technical bench and a solid playing unit. This speaks to one thing, the undeniable role financial stability plays in sports and the success of teams thereof. Sadly, that is not the case with our sports. Least of all, the Kenya Basketball Federation League, where financial stability is a topic only discussed in hushed tones and where there are no concrete executable plans of realizing the same, the same competition, which is the cornerstone of sports. And as much credit goes to Twente Foundation, Coach Brad and his boys take an equal share of that glory. Now, listen to this. As the curtains came down on the men's league, Kenya Basketball Federation found it fit to reward the champions, that is Thunder, a measly 350,000 shillings and 100,000 to runners up and 20,000 to the most valuable player. The same applies to the women's league. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a drop in the ocean, if not an insult to the teams who have had to invest massively, a lot preparing the teams to honor fixtures for the better part of the year. Equally, it is important to note that in the past, these clubs have merely played for pride and for the love of the game. There were no prizes whatsoever. But it talks to the degree to which our sports management has sunk over the ages. Never mind, at the helm of the Basketball Federation, we have officials who've served for over seven years. But the more they remain in office, the more things remain the same, if not worse. Corporate partnerships go a long way in helping address some of these gaps, but this is only possible where you have visionary leaders running the federations. Not everything will be fixed by the national government. It is for this reason that federations elect officials. As we discuss the 350,000 prize money, Africa's youngest nation, South Sudan's men national basketball team, faced the mighty USA in their final warm-up to the Olympics. Yes, the Americans that paraded amongst others, LeBron James, and they did fairly well, losing 101 to 100. While in Kenya, we are still watching, waiting for the miracle. One may argue that the South Sudanese are domiciled in the USA and play at the top level. Some would say they speak with a twang, but questions abound. Why are our Kenyan players not competing at that very top level. It boils down to poor leadership at the Kenya Basketball Federation. Food for thought. That is my shot. Of course, uh, that brings us to the end of our broadcast. This morning, Sporty Monday, of course, this is the most comprehensive and authoritative sports show in the land. We endeavor to give you the best in terms of analysis while also dissecting the thematic issues. We thank you for making time to keep